Put your fucking hands up. Hands up above your head. Get down on your was that justified? Yeah, I saw, his, I saw his hands going towards his waistband. I said hands up three times, I think. Yeah. Okay. Still, the yeah, game gave me an F. Do you think there's a difference between your grading system <laughs> and the game's grading system? Well, he was a pedophile, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, this game's called Ready or Not. Uh, it's a game where you play as like a SWAT guy. I haven't been able to pass like a single mission, so I figured I'd call in an expert. So I, I was a police officer for a couple years. Uh, I was on SWAT for uh, two years. And he can tell me what the hell I'm doing wrong. I guess I I don't know the rules of engagement or something because I keep okay. getting an F every time. Okay. And they because they rate you on how good you do. And I go in and I... I mean, nobody's living when I walk out, so I assumed that would be an A+. Plus. I would think so. And then it turns out it's not. Like, what am I doing wrong? Are we, we're doing some use of force? Yes. Okay. Shut up. We'll say who you can talk to. It's very illegal. That's illegal? To you taste somebody? Can't taste someone in handcuffs. <laughs> Choke on that, nerd. We'll go talk to your son. Have you ever been tear gassed? No. It's horrible. It sucks really bad. One time I cracked open a Diet Dr. Pepper and like the it got in my the eyes. A little, little carbonation went up. Because I didn't have my glasses on. And that I assume is about the same as like bear mace. We'll We're taught to de escalate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna de escalate his fucking head from his body. Whoa! Stand down! Granny! It's okay. Come here. I'll get you out of here. Close your eyes. There's a lot of headless corpses in this house. <laughs> I know your son lived with you. He might be one of them. Ugh. There you go. Comfort each other. Whoa! <laughs> what was the yell? Yeah, like so. If someone shoots it, shoots at you, can you just spray? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, you you felt your life was in danger. They just almost shot you in the face. It barely missed you, dude. It seems like you get like a get jail out of or get out of jail free card. If once a bullet starts flying, you can just kind of haphazardly shoot in any direction. I mean, you're going to be in trouble if you fucking hit someone on the other side of the door that wasn't shooting at you. You know what Donut Operator told me yesterday? He said Thanks. after everything where I was like, was that justified? He said, did you feel like your life was in danger? Did you did you feel like your life was in danger? Mm, yeah. That, that just means paranoid people have more authority. That's exactly what I got out of it, too. I'm glad we gleaned the same thing out of that. My life's in danger. Keep shooting until you feel safe, buddy. I was scared for my life when I woke up this morning. <laughs> that means everything I do is justified from here on out. Last shot probably wasn't necessary. But yeah, Shh, I yeah. feared for my life. Whoa! Uh, I feared for my life. Oh, you poor thing. We need to get you a thunder vest or whatever. Little small dogs wear. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> Keep me wrapped tightly. Why is that one of the customization options? This man needs the thunder vest. Please. Yeah, I need one bad. As a civilian, I look at all these police shooting videos yeah. and I go, they should have used rubber bullets or something. Or yeah, they should have. Why didn't they shoot him in the leg? Uh, yeah, shoot, shoot his dick off first, like Robocop. And um, and then I realized that when playing this game, I'll pepper spray someone for 20 fucking seconds and they'll still just gun me down. <laughs> or you try to tase them and, and they just eat it like it's nothing. Sometimes the ta taser doesn't work. Everything can be solved with a 12 gauge. Okay. That's true. No, I tried to yeah. go the non-lethal route. I ain't ever <laughs> making that mistake again. <laughs> Damn right. Where's that bitch at? <laughs> this bar? I'm looking down left. Oh, oh, oh. Me. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. He was resisting. All right. I'm going to show you a series of pictures. And I want you to tell me when that person becomes a threat and when you would shoot. Are you drinking? Is that alcohol? Yes. yes. <laughs>
Dude, he's going to shoot first picture. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a tester. Okay. Dick Cheney. <laughs> he fucking shot his friend in the face with bird shot. In that scenario, he's, he's, you see the motion blur on that gun. That thing's getting pulled up. He's about to let loose. Oh, I'd start blasting, man. I would, I would gun down Cheney so quick. What's the difference between incapacitated, neutralized, and... Neutralized means they're no longer a threat. Incapacitated mm. means they're like no longer conscious. I think a functioning brain stem is a threat to me. <laughs> uh, you can still formulate ideas counter to the ideas that I believe in. <laughs> threat. Yeah, that sounds fucking threat. hostile to me. Yeah, that's hostile as fuck, dude. <laughs> Even Terry Shivo is a threat to me in a way. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a fucking madman. <laughs> Grenade out. I should ask him, is just blind firing down a hallway with a shotgun, is, <laughs> given the circumstances, is that okay? Given that there is a woman on this yeah. I, I use the top of her head to steady my barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, toots. You gotta line this shot up. Hypothetical. Active shooter scenario. You mm -hmm. end up gunning down somebody that didn't have a gun. Yeah. How much trouble are you in? You're probably gonna get sued. So fiscally, they're like they're gonna they're gonna you, sue your department. Is it you or the department? Okay, the they're gonna sue the department because that okay. that's what um fuck what's it called uh god damn it the law that protects officers from being actually sued um uh, it's called qualified immunity apparently you might get in trouble if they can prove that there was malice in you hurting someone yeah but I mean you might get charged with manslaughter you know if you're, you just you just haphazardly kill some innocent person in an active shooter situation. Mm. What if you sound really remorseful afterwards, like Steve Urkel? Uh, you know, you know Did what? Did I do That's that? I don't know where his gun went. Oh, he had one. Wow, you're a good officer. You're better than me. Oh wait, it flew over here. <laughs> it flew over here. Reaches out of back pocket, and places his gun on his body. <laughs> drop, drop. <laughs> Drop the weapon and get down slow. It's like a traveler. Get down. This guy. <laughs> yeah, oh, he doesn't speak English. Why'd they send us? Because <laughs> we ain't here to fucking torque. <laughs> we had to kill. Yeah. <laughs> torque. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to torque. You know what I do know how to do is pull this fucking trigger, okay? Blew off his arm. We're good. Nice. He ain't gonna be ready enough. <laughs> You're a beat cop. Okay. Right? You're patrolling a park. And you see this guy. Mm hmm Standing there. Okay. He doesn't respond or nothing when you say, you say, put your hands up. What are you doing? That's how I sound. Yep. Yeah, definitely. I uh, just start blasting, man. You know that's my philosophy now. Hey, well, you take a step closer and he starts levitating. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm about to reach you clear, baby. Yeah! Wait. Yeah! I think it opens towards me. <laughs> yeah! What the hell? I have a broken leg, can't even do it. Come on in. <laughs> can't even kick an open door already. Oh! Is like Sicario. Yeah. I haven't seen that film, so this is like seeing it for the first time. That movie is directly the reason why Donald Trump built that wall. He watched that movie one time and was like, holy <laughs> shit. We, got, <laughs> we have to build that wall now. This is scary. Look at all this art. Oh my god. Damn, one of them got big ass titties. Damn. Is this a sign of culture and intelligence? No, let's not humanize them anymore. <laughs> I have a job to do. Whoa! Oh, oh. Oh, 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 God. God. <laughs> Dude, you fucking flinch from that last oh, 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 shit! Oh. You kick down the door, boom, you see this guy. Uh, <laughs> I saw what you did there. <laughs> but, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Man, that was, that, was a, that was a roller coaster of emotions that you just put me through there. <laughs> What, uh, I'm going to select the mission right now. I'm going to go through the list and find one. How do you know what the new ones are? Uh, I just remember which ones are the old ones. So uh, This one's called Willard's Mom's House. Huh, that's an old one. Everybody's done that a thousand times. 
Oh, wait, this is a school shooting. Uh, yeah. And she... Two things are happening at that school that I don't like. One, an active shooter. Two, liberal <laughs> uh, fucking mind, mind bending or whatever the hell those teachers do. <laughs> Goddamn social science yeah. bullshit. Liberal indoctrination. That's the science center. Social science? science? What the <laughs> fuck? They're harvesting adrenochrome in here. We need to go fucking handle this. Man, I don't even know what the fuck that means, but I'll kill him either way. <laughs> There's two types of terrorists in this country. <laughs> Some are of the physical variety, the guns and such, and some are spreaders of ideas. <laughs> Society politics. Uh -oh. How to abort babies and make drugs. <laughs> A guide to cooking adrenochrome at home. <laughs> How to keep Hillary Clinton alive for another hundred years. <laughs> oh man, I fucking hate this place. So, so when you work for like a smaller police department, you're you have a part-time SWAT team so you do normal duties like you know I, I was a patrol guy and work narcotics like some of the SWAT guys were detectives and so when bad shit pops off that's when you call SWAT and you get together and you get in the SWAT van you put all the cool gear on grab the long gun have you ever gotten finished with like a nice long shift and then you get called in for SWAT at the end absolutely of it? yeah I've done I've done a dude I worked a fucking double one time so we did 10 hour shifts so I worked 20 hours straight on patrol and then like immediately I got home, like started to crack a beer open and then they called and they're like, we got a barricaded suspect. So I had to just turn around, go back, throw all my gear on. You're right, dude. I'd be, I'd be throwing fucking C4 through those windows. Yeah. That bed's calling at home, baby. I got that tempur <laughs> I'm not fucking waiting here all day. I would be opening fire immediately <laughs> as soon see, as not, I got see, there. Now, now, now you're yeah, now candy. I'm getting in the headspace. Oh, cuff day on. Punching someone in the back of the head when you're arresting them, is that okay? You probably shouldn't do that ever. That's a good, quick way to a lawsuit right there. Uh, well, I mean, he shot at me before then. Oh, why didn't you shoot him? Because uh, I'm fucking good, and I shot his gun out of his hands. <laughs> no shit. Fucking hands off. You're not taking me, bro. Don't do anything. Police. Uh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Do, do, stop shooting him. Stop shooting him. Whoa. Right. Big city cop couldn't do it. The small town sheriff can. Wait. Fizzle. What? You don't have a helmet to put a head cam on, and so it's just like a <laughs> camera stuck to your afro. <laughs> I'm upstairs, ding dong. Ah! Kick it open. Kick it open, frog. You kick it open. Hey, I got it, man. Boom. <laughs> I, I told you, that's that door from last time. That door's scary. By the way, look how unnaturally that guy's leaned up against the wall. I know. <laughs> that guy looks like he's struggling to like... There is no bend in that fucking right leg. <laughs> <laughs> Stiff as a fucking boner, dude. <laughs> that's gonna be me in like a year. That's like asking a dad to like chill out. He's just like, I don't know how. <laughs> look cool. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't even know what you fucking mean. Talk to entry team. Oh! oh. Remember me. What's his name's dead? That's gotta be like a C, right? And they really put a lot of weight on civilians. They, they know how many civilians are out there, right? Like, oh, don't forget. Our mission is not to create widows and orphans. It is to bring mm. order to chaos. I didn't read that part. I've been reading all the other stuff. <laughs> to bring order to chaos, one must first create widows and orphans. That's how I read that. I have dyslexia. Ah, a nice twist. I don't think that's how dyslexia works. Did you did you feel like your life was in danger?